Welcome to Cooking with Miss O. Let's join Mary Beth Oxendine in the kitchen as she teaches you how to cook Southern style healthy. Welcome to Cooking with Miss O again. We are so happy to have you back. Today we're doing a breakfast. We are cooking through the cookbook. Um, it's page 26 for those of you that have the cookbook and for those of you that don't. Um, they're going to put up the website and you can order on the website now. We just want to thank you. It's a breakfast meal today and it's day three and it's the breakfast um, with the waffles or the pancakes. The same batter does both. Um, we are going to um, first, we have ground our wheat and I want to show you what that looks like. I'm going to put this right out here so that you can see how it looks. It's on the beginning of the show. And I keep it in my Tupperware right here. And we already ground that. And a lot of you have been asking me about my grinder. And I want to tell you that this is a K-Tech whole grain flour mill. You can order them online. And it's about, except for shipping going up, I've had this one since 1988. And it's almost the same price I bought it for in 1988. The reason I use this one, it's the easiest to store. It's the easiest to pull out. Um, and here is my wheat I have already ground with my wheat berries. Today we're doing a whole show on fiber. The American problem for children, adults, and everybody that leads to so much disease is um, the lack of fiber in our diets. And I want to show you the main things that help you with fiber today. Your breakfast can be so fiber filled, but so, so delicious, so your kids will love it and they won't even know. Once we started doing this, nobody had to take Metamucil anymore or anything else. Um, this is the fresh whole wheat berry, and when you grind that, you have 72 hours, and it has all the nutrients in it, and after that, it's considered a dead grain. Um, I'm going to be doing two cups of fresh whole wheat flour. Now, sometimes I grind my oats, too, and they come in a little berry like that, too, and I'm going to show you all how to do that on another show. And I mix my wheat and my oats because oats are very high in fiber, too. When doctors and new people tell you that oats and wheat are really great for lowering your cholesterol, it's only if it's been fresh ground because after it's been done 72 hours, the wheat fla I mean the oat flakes and all, they um, have no nutrition left in them. So you either flake them or grind them and eat them within that 72 hours. Now we have our two cups of whole wheat flour. We have our baking powder. This is the baking powder over here that I buy. You can see everything over here to the side that I buy. My sea salt. And then we're going to whisk this. A little bit. And then we're going to add our oil, our milk, and then we're going to pour this in here and let's get our one egg. Now, I use organic eggs I get from Ingalls. I have not seen this brand any, I'll tell you all the stores that I get stuff at, but I have not seen this brand anywhere else. I get my milk from Ingalls, but Walmart has it, and Bilo might have it too, but I've not checked there. Then I want to show you how making this and how it is a live food. This has no yeast in it, but it's going to bubble up as if I did have yeast in it. Let me get my egg in here. This is a high protein breakfast because the protein is real high in fresh ground grains. And then we're going to do all your fruit. When you don't have meat in a meal and you have fruit, fresh fruit, it doesn't mess with your digestion. All of the things that we're doing here, I've either picked or gotten from the stands. And uh, yesterday, Marie Pritchard, who helps me here on the show, my daughter Marie, we had a picnic and we went up to this new place we found in Upper Oconee County. It's called, um, sorry, it's Chatuga Bella Farms. It is the most beautiful place you could ever imagine. We had, we packed a picnic lunch and had lunch with the uh, in-house caterer there. And, um, and we, um, so I just want to show you, oh, now, can y'all zoom in on this? We, it shows how much it has grown and thickened. Can anybody, and see how that is and how it's bubbling because it's a live food. So you're eating live food. And if I teach you anything on these shows, I want to teach you that we are eating live foods as opposed to dead foods. Most of the stuff in your grocery store on the inner aisles and this got into my whisk, y'all. And if you have a problem with that sometimes, just do this. 
Now this is a whisk from Pampered Chef and it's great. They are my favorite actually because um, the way the handle is done so, when you use it a whole lot, it doesn't get all gunked up and that is really nice. I don't want to splatter this everywhere. This is a quick breakfast. Let me tell you a way to make it even quicker. If you take all your powdered ingredients, put them in a container, put it in your refrigerator the night before, that would really help you there. And then all you have to do is add your liquids and things. Now, with this Pampered Chef bowl, I put it in my Pampered Chef bowl, put it in the refrigerator with the lid on it, and then I just add my egg and my milk. If you have a dairy problem, you can do the same recipe with water and leave off your dairy, your milk. And it doesn't change um, the uh, flavor or anything very much at all. Now we're going to add in our egg. And we're going to add in our vanilla flavoring. Do you see how much this has risen on me? And how it has thickened up? Now we will add a teaspoon of vanilla flavor. I get this at Ingalls. You can get it at Whole Foods and different places. But um, Whole Foods is in Greenville. And it's it's a trip that I don't make very often. And so I can go five minutes to my Ingalls store and shop. And this is wonderful. It's been an answer to prayer for me because when I first started this, I had to order from California. There wasn't anything in the stores around here. Um, now we're going to add this to our waffle iron. And I, what I usually do is I buy, I've got a cheap little waffle iron from Walmart. You can buy them $9.95 usually at, um, let me do this for you. And let me put up my grinder. You can do it for $5.95. I mean $9.95. Around Mother's Day is when I buy things like this that can go bad or use them for wedding gifts and stuff. And um, I don't know if you can see my waffle iron here, but I just use this ladle and then put it on and shut it down. This has a little lock on it, and I messed up the first time I did it. Don't lock it down because then the waffles can't rise. You can teach your kids to do this. This is a real easy way to start cooking with them healthy. We just put the lid down, and we will wait there for the light to go off. Now we're going to talk about berries. All of your berries. We have strawberries here from Beechwood Farms. We have blueberries and we have raspberries from Bella Farms in Chattooga. And we have fresh peaches that are from the other side of Spartanburg. All of these have wonderful nutrient values besides being high in fiber. They all have agents that help them with um, cancer to keep us from having cancer. I also want to tell you that the milk I use is the Horizon, and I think I might have told you that. I use olive oil there. That's the olive oil I use. That's the sea salt I use. That's the baking powder I use. I also, I buy in bulk, so I use this maple syrup because I can buy it in gallon jugs and it's cheaper for me. But you can go to Ingalls right now and get an organic syrup, right like this. And this is, and I bought this today. So I want you to know that the reason you don't want to have any maple syrup or pancake syrup that is non-organic is because it has formaldehyde for preservative in it and that is um, very tough on the digestion system and not healthy and I just want to see you after the break be ready to eat the waffle and show you what we're going to do with that thank you Welcome back, y'all. I think our waffle is ready. Let me just check. Ah, it's sticking. They don't usually do that. Here we go. Now y'all know this is for real because it, it messed up and it stuck here, and I don't know why. But um, sometimes you can do, this is a tough um, long one. Sometimes you could spray it with a little bit of olive oil, but you don't want to do that too much because you don't want to have a burn taste to it. But here we go. Now, we are going to put fresh peaches here that we had. Leave the skin on. Now, let me tell you about peaches, y'all. 
Peaches are just as good as spinach. It has the nutrient value, high iron that spinach has. So if you have children that don't like spinach, do peaches, and this is the best time of the year. Now I'm also gonna show you today, on this show, I'm gonna show you how I freeze, how I freeze my berries, and we're gonna put some on our, on our food here in just a minute for our guest that's coming. Well, I've already shown you on another show how to put up your uh, strawberries, and with those, you wash and you take the tops off. Now with blueberries, we don't wash those, and we just pour them after we've picked them, we just pour them in the bag. You can get these at Bella Farm here, or you can get them at the Blueberry Farm up in Six Mile. And then you just fill it up and you do it in this size freezer bag, and then they won't get any freezer burn, burn or anything. But if you wash them, you'll have problems with freezer burn. They'll do just great. Now the other thing you wanna do with your berries is with the, let me put a little, a little more in here, and let's see if this one sticks. Sometimes the first one will stick. And you can use the same recipe for pancakes and for um, dessert waffles, which I will show you in a different show how to turn your waffles in. We're gonna take a few of these blueberries and make blueberry waffles out of this right here. All you do is put your batter in, lay your blueberries on top, and that's it right there. And then you shut your lid and you have blueberry pancakes. You can also do that with pecans, walnuts. Um, if you want to do almond waffles, just change to almond flavoring, the organic, and then do slivered almonds in it too, and that is wonderful too. Now, the raspberries are just like the blueberries. You do not want to wash them. You just want to, they're very tender, they're very easy to pick. This is the first time I've ever picked raspberries, and um, they, if they pull off easy, that means that they're ripe. If you have to tug on them, just wait. That one's not ready. They are full up here at this um, farm that we went to. The bushes are full of them, and they're beautiful, and they use heirloom, and that's what you want because that stuff has not been messed with. They also, I was so excited about it, I've been praying about finding me some corn that's not um, genetically altered said that I can grind it for my cornbread, and they have that there, we will do that in another show. All you have to do is put your raspberries in your bag like this, and then pop, seal it good, pop it in your freezer. Don't wash them either till after you take them out, okay? Uh, here we go. Now, I just wanted to show you, we have a whole box here, so I'll be able to get a couple of bags. You can do all kinds of things. Now, let me talk to you about your berries, all of your berries, your blackberries, your strawberries, and blackberries aren't quite in yet. We'll do something with them in a later show. But your raspberries, your blueberries, actually your number one berry for your good health is blueberries. Strawberries is number two, and then your blackberries and raspberries follow right behind. But berries help fight against cancer. They also are very high in fiber. And on, if you go to my um, um, website, I am gonna have all this out for y'all, the information. I wanna tell you how important it is to understand that the way God made our food it's so wonderful. Now that's enough for the rice berries. You don't want it so full. What you want to do is do it so that you can lay it flat in your freezer like that without squishing them. Put them without something on top of it. Get as much air as you can. And then put them in there till they're solid frozen. And then you can stack them. All right? And you can do that. That's for muffins. You can have raspberry muffins. You can make your own raspberry sauces. You can do this with the blueberries. There's a wonderful blueberry sauce you can make. All natural that you can pour over your waffles. Um, we have another set going here. I want to read you my scripture. Let me grab that real quick. Shouldn't have done that probably. But um, it says, every well-trained student will be like their teacher. It's in Luke 6, 10. I just wanted to tell you um, that that is the scripture that God gave me about my husband. And I've used that because now I'm letting him teach me and show me what to do. We can let him be our teacher. He created our food so that it would have all the nutrients that we would need for the human body to live a healthy life. And um, I would really like to show you how easy and simple it is to do that. We don't use any sugar in the waffles. And now we're gonna go ahead and fix this up here. I'm gonna put a little bit of the raspberries and a little bit of the blueberries. You wanna be very gentle with those and with your blueberries, because we want this on our waffles. And I have a guest, a surprise guest here today that I'm excited about, and he's gonna come and have some breakfast with me. Our peaches have already been, 
have already been washed. And I'm going to rinse these blueberries and we're going to put some peaches on here. And we're waiting on that other one to get done. There's others. And I'll fix another plate. This is a very inexpensive. You need to know too, I did not go to the grocery store. There will not be a price on this because I used everything out of my pantry. When you go, if you have my cookbook and you stock your pantry the way I tell you to, these are meals that you don't have to buy anything. All I did was buy my fruit, but I was buying my fruit to freeze for the winter. And, um, and then you have all of this. I am gonna rinse these off real quick. I'm gonna turn my back to you in just a minute. This farm is wonderful. They don't use all the pesticides that everybody does. It's an all natural farm. And now we're gonna put some strawberries on here. And we're gonna cut them like we have before. Now these strawberries I got from Beechwood Farms. They have a stand up near me. And um, they pick them that morning and then bring them up. Beechwood Farms is up in Marietta. That's another great you pick farm that you can go to too. Um, I don't know how natural, how, what all they use and put on their stuff. Just a minute and I'm gonna rinse these too. You don't wanna do any major washing with them. And you have an apron so that when you can't find your dish towel, you can just dry your hands off, y'all. I love my apron. That was Tom's idea because I was ruining my clothes, he said. And so I always try to wear an apron when I'm cooking, and he's right. It does save on the wear and tear of my clothes. Now, remember I used this Pampered Chef slicer before, and we're doing that with our strawberries here. Do you see how wonderful and colorful this is? Now, my children like butter on their waffles, so if before you put the fruit on, I would do butter. And butter is okay in small amounts because it is made. If you look at the ingredients of butter as compared to margarine, you will find that you want to eat everything as close to the way that God made it. Now we're going to check this one and see. And that one with the blueberries. We have a whole blueberry one. And I'm going to take another plate here and put the blueberry one on there. It sticks a little bit when you have fruit in them. And I'm going to open that up so that y'all can see the blueberries there. You can do that with chocolate chips. You can do it with blueberries. You can do it with pecans. And you have a wonderful um, dessert breakfast if you want or when you have young people come over. Now, with this now, we're going to pour the maple syrup across it. And let you see how that looks. We just do a little bit. You might want to pour the maple syrup um, for your children. I usually put it in a little pitcher, but this little bottle that I got today is just really easy to do. Um, my big gallon, I always pour it in a little pitcher. We are getting ready to go to another break, and when we get back, my friend will be here. Thank you so much, y'all. Welcome back. Let me introduce my guest to you. This was uh, so unusual. I met him the other day and he was willing to come on the show. My husband Tom taught him in 1999. Is that right, That's Jason? Correct. Now, Jason, why don't you tell everybody what you do now? Um, I'm actually the local editor for the Easily Patch News website. It's at easily.patch.com and we cover the Easley area, which includes, you know, Easley High School yes. and, uh, and Greater Pickens County. And so today I invited him on the show because um, when we were talking at the polls the other day in Central, you were covering that, weren't you? Mm -hmm. And um, we got to talking because I was there and found out that Tom had taught him. So I told him to come on and try some of my food. Go ahead, Jason. Why don't you try um, and see what you think? And we also have the, now with the blueberry waffles, I didn't put any more fresh blueberries on there. Um, we just did that. And I put, made some syrup, Jason. I forgot. There. How does it taste, Jason? That is delicious. Is it really? Thank it's you. Very good. Now, my kids like powdered sugar on some of this stuff too. So you can do a little bit of that if you want on there. 
And if you're trying to stay away from the sugar, then I, go ahead and eat, Jason, eat as much as you want. <laughs> um, we're hungry, it's been a while, but I just wanted to tell you that if you go, right now is the best time to put up your fruits and vegetables and um, have everything in. When I do that, I can feed my family for less than $50 a week when we were a family of four. And then I could use the extra grocery money, y'all, ladies, to decorate my house. And uh, Tom was wonderful about letting me do that. Plus, you have the nutrition. When you freeze a fruit, it has all of the nutrition still held into it, then as if you can it. And I like to can stuff, but with the fruits, I do that all just frozen, and it's easy. And then you, when you take it out to thaw it, don't let it completely thaw when you use it in the winter, because you don't want it to be mushy. How's it taste? It's great. I love, I love how colorful it is. Yeah, it is, isn't it? How's the, how's the waffles? Do very, they, very do good. They, very they don't good. taste heavy? Mm -mm, no. Whole wheat fresh is not like the whole wheat that you get in other places, because the reason it gets so heavy tasting is because it's dead. When it's fresh ground, it's light like this. And do you catch that lightness in it? Mm-hmm, I do. So, I love waffles, y'all, excuse me. This is one of my favorite breakfasts. My other breakfast is French toast, and that is coming up in a future show. I want to thank you, Jason, so much for talking to me the other day at the poll, mm -hmm. and then I got to find out about Tom. Is there any funny story or something you would like to say in just a quick time or what you thought of him as a teacher? Just whenever I think of Tom, I think of him in his megaphone. He, he would always line up the kids at graduation, and he had the megaphone. He didn't really need the megaphone. He, know, had, a, he had a loud voice to begin with, but I, was, I, I covered graduation Saturday, and I thought a lot of Tom that day. Missed uh, him and his megaphone. Ah, we all miss him, don't we, Jason? We yes. So thank you so much for joining us for Cooking with Miss O. I'm so honored to have one of Tom's ex-students here. And we wish him the best in his career. And he will be writing, and you want to tell them how they can get you? That you, can, you can access Patch by going to easily.patch.com, or if you just Google Easily Patch, it'll come right up. And I, I see those fingers going up. It's time for me to close, y'all. I just want to thank you so much again for joining us with Cooking with Miss O. Have a wonderful day.